growth as an athlete and a person, I just feel like I've come a long way from where I was thinking I was invincible, thinking I was this like superhuman athlete that could pull off absolutely anything. I realize that I'm a person that does things that maybe the average person might not do, but um, I'm still a person. And I realize that there are many parts of myself. I'm not just an athlete. I'm not just a student. I'm not just some girl with a disability. I'm Marissa. The tools I've learned um, for just in general coping with mental health issues, whether it's my own struggles or other people, is it's not taboo. It's not odd to talk about it. And you, it's okay to ask somebody genuinely, like, how are you? Every time you share your struggles, so if you say to someone, you know, what's the advice to someone who, who may feel that, that sense of shame, who may feel weak, not sick, what's the advice? The advice is, first of all, educate yourself. Because if, if you spend enough time online about depression, you gotta come to the conclusion, oh my God, this is all over the world. These are some of the strongest people in the world have suffered from depression. Some of the strongest, coolest, most successful people have taken their lives. So maybe it's not about a weakness, maybe it really is a sickness, and that's empowering. If school's giving me a hard time because I'm a full-time student as well as a full-time athlete, again, I talk and I figure out, you know, today I had nine hours of class and I'm exhausted, what can we do to fix that? As opposed to just putting my head down and keeping on working. It gets to the point where you're just gonna crack. And that actually already happened to me this year where I was putting in the work for school, putting in the work for track in the first few weeks I was back, it got really overwhelming and I just exploded. I had a mental breakdown, I couldn't deal with it anymore. And I have those moments sometimes, but I think it's okay to have those moments because you are able to just let loose and realize what you have done and reevaluate yourself and then keep learning and keep on moving forward from there. That's just a false image and you don't want to crack it. You don't want to, you know, splinter this idea that people have of you. You know, we're the architects of our own demise. We use social media, we do interviews, we, we speak about the good and we post pictures with filters that show the good. And we don't necessarily speak or show the bad. So then when the bottom starts to fall out, and in my case, I decided to speak up about it, it was scary, because I'm going from happy Instagram posts and record-setting runs and Olympic bids to then talking about my addict father and my struggles with my family. Like, I'm letting people see this complete different side of me that I didn't even know if they wanted to see. I'm hopeful that more athletes start to do it. I'm hopeful that the, the, the fans and the community around us recognize that we're humans first. There's a lot of rare diseases out there. For instance, ALS, the big ALS ice bucket challenge, you know, was amazing. But ALS is really rare. Suicide? Not rare at all. Make it part of the discussion. Desensitize it to the point where people at that table, at your place of work could say, eh, you know, mom, dad, I gotta talk to you because you were talking about how people get these thoughts of suicides. I don't know why, but I have it. I think that it is really important for others to speak out on whatever they might be going through in everyday life because it made a huge impact and took a lot of pressure off myself. It was weighing me down almost. And I think that if other people are able to find that person or uh, find someone who are they able to communicate how they're feeling, um, takes a huge weight off your chest because it's not only sitting on you anymore. Sharing mental illness, speaking out about mental illness, is the single biggest thing that a person could do if they are suffering. If you feel like, you know, there could be something wrong with me, you need to find one person to share with. Whether that person is the person that's closest to you, whether that person is your doctor, whether that person is someone online, you need to share. I am really sick right now, but this is not my fault. No one would choose this. I did not choose this. I am not weak. I'm sick.